All right, everybody, this is Dwayne Lulu with Spots and Dots, Matrix Shad. Welcome back. So, made a trip this morning, got up real early, very first thing in the morning. I uh, watched a beautiful sunrise. Anyways, got to spot A and tried to hit a little topwater action, and topwater didn't work out. Caught a bluefish and thought I had a trout hit my topwater, but apparently another bluefish. So, anyways, did that no trout in that area so made a move after i made my move i was paying attention to what was going on around me and there were some wade fishers and there were some people fishing out of the boats so i was watching what was going on and the people that were wade fishing were catching fish people in the boats were not catching fish so i decided to get out my boat and do a little wade fishing so that worked out pretty well caught some nice fish as y'all are going to see here in just a minute but Talk about the couple of lures I used. Matrix Shad Ultraviolet. That was my number one today. And the only reason I used the Matrix Shad Magneto was I was wade fishing and for whatever reason I didn't put any extra ultraviolets back in my my wade bag that I had in inside my waders. But anyways, these two baits are pretty similar. The Magneto is just a little bit more translucent. It's a little bit more clear. That's about the only difference. This one right here is just a little bit more clear. They look, both look like pretty good minnows in the water there. So anyway, that's what we did. So y'all enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Spots and Dots, guys. Give me some likes. Give me some shares. And y'all enjoy it. All right, guys. Got my first trout on top water. Didn't get to see the hit, but I missed one earlier, and it seemed like a pretty decent one. And this ain't even a uh, trout. This is actually a bluefish. <laughs> How about that? So a bluefish it is. Good deal. Didn't have to mess with him. All right, guys, so I had to switch over to wade fishing. Seemed like that's what everybody's doing, like the fish want some peace and quiet. So that's what I did and got a little redfish here. It's been a long day, long morning of fishing. I don't really need a net for this guy. <clears throat> Very long morning of fishing. Second fish of the day. Pretty little redfish. Oh, I just missed one. I don't know what it was, but I missed him. Missed him. Trying to turn my camera on. Lost my slack. Probably another redfish. Oh, there's another one. Here we go. Got him that time. Feels like a little head shake. We'll see what it is. Let's see what it is. Oh, a little red. Another little red. Let him go. Oh, dude oh whatever that was he hit it right here on top of me guys like i said these fish act like they want some peace and quiet away from the boats There's a lot of people out here wade fishing and a lot of people in the boats and it seems like the people wade fishing are catching fish not the people in the boats <laughs> i was in my boat but i decided to get out and it seems like it's made a difference all right got another one see what this is oh this is a trout nice trout guys nice trout that's what we came after again i'm not not keeping them today but glad to catch one just glad to catch one today guys <clears throat> he ain't big enough anyway but even if he was we wouldn't keep him 
Woo. You like that there, uh, don't you chat, ultraviolet. Choked it. Choked on it. Nice looking fish. That might be a keeper. I don't have anything to measure with him. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I ain't keeping him. Let him go. Alright, here's another one, guys. See if we can get him in without losing him. See what it is. See what it is. It's a trout. Good trout. Another good trout. Nice trout. Trout, guys. I tell y'all, these fish want a steady retrieve. There's no, there's no reel it and jerk it, reel it and jerk it. They want a steady retrieve, guys. That's what they want. That's a nice trout right there. I wish I could have my tags out here and tag them, but there's just no way to do all that. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, gosh. This is a good one. He pulled a little drag on me. I had to back up so I wouldn't lose, wouldn't lose any uh, slack while I turned my camera on for that one. But it feels like a lot better one. Let's see what it is. It might be a red now that he's down. But he came to the top a second ago like it was a trout. Oh yeah, it's a trout. Another nice trout. I know y'all can see all the cameras. I mean, cameras, all the boats out there. A ton of boats out here today. Oh, this is a fine trout, guys. Matrix shad, don't you violet. Getting it done. That is a fine trout. Look at that, guys. I, I wish I knew how long it was, but I don't have a way to measure them. I do, I just didn't bring it with me because I wasn't keeping them. I'll, I'll show y'all what I do for that a little bit later on. That's a fine trout, guys. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so here's what I use when I'm wake fishing. What this is, is a uh, pool noodle. And I cut it in half. Made me a little hole right there. I want to put a string through it, but most of the times I just take it and shove it behind my back when I'm wearing waders. Got my 15 inch mark for trout. Got my 18 inch mark for redfish. And that's what I use. Of course, for this, uh, video for the fish that I was catching I went I, I would have used it I would have wanted to have used it to see how big the fish were and the only thing it would have told me that they were over 18 inches so anyways but that's what I used all right guys got another one coming in don't lose him he's coming right at me he's coming right at me another good trout another and another keeper definitely would have been another keeper oh he spit that thing look <laughs> he spit it while it was in here well telling y'all to look you probably can't see it he spit it while it was in the net there nice trout let him go there he goes oh this dude just smashed it right here guys goodness gracious he smashed it. Wow. Another.
another nice one guys matrix shad ultraviolet getting it done today let's get this guy out of here and get him back in the water oh he's stuck in it. let's see my hook is stuck in the net again fine fish guys wow nice fish out here today all right oh, here we go another one got another one got another one coming Let's get him over here he's not as big as the others but he's a fish well, i'll go ahead and grab him let's see i'll go ahead and grab this one he swallowed it too Dang. Get that out of there. There he is. There he go. He's gone. All right, guys, got another one. This one was out in the open, away from the shoreline. It feels like a good one. Feels like a good one. Come here. Get him in here. Test the situation. Oh yeah, definitely a nice trout. All right. Oh no, the hook went through his lip, come through and got into the net. So that's not good. There we go. Nice trout, guys. Wow. Nice trout. Let him go. There we go. It's amazing how much of a difference wade fishing makes if, if the fish are skittish. It's so weird. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they are. It's just so weird. I don't know what the deal is. Sometimes they just do not want to be around a boat. Sometimes they just don't care. <laughs> All right, got another one. He's coming right at me. Now he's not. <laughs> he hit it. He hit it pretty close to me. Another one for the count. I don't know how many I've got. I've caught. Just happy to catch some fish today. Put together a good trip. Another nice looking trout. I'd be another keeper. Just let him go. There he goes. All right, guys. Got another one. See what we got going on here. <clears throat> this feels like a red fish. Feels like a red fish. Definitely the strongest fish I've had today. As far as pulling goes. Let's see if we can seam and Get him in the bucket. There he went right there. That was it was a redfish. Alright, got another one. About two casts after I just lost that redfish. It might be another redfish. <laughs> Let's see if we can land this one. Might be a school of them sitting out there. If it's a trout. It's a good trout, but I think it's a redfish. Uh, 
see if we can get this one in. Get my net prepared. Yeah, I just saw his tail. That's a, another red. Must be a couple of them swimming around out there. <clears throat> Come here, boy. He ain't ready. He ain't ready. He looked like that hook was just barely in him, too. Come on. There we go. We got him. Let's get this hook out. Say it's barely, it's barely in him, but it's hooked good. in a tough spot of his lip. There we go. Messed up my lure, boy. Let's see if we can... There you go. I was trying to get a good release on him, but he gone. He gone. Oh, yeah, he busted up that dude, didn't he? <laughs> get another one on there. Got something else. Another small redfish. Redfish must have pushed in somewhere from somewhere. So I dug in my pocket and I I put a bunch of different lures in my waiter pocket or plastics and I didn't see my ultraviolet so I got a magneto on there. So looks like the magneto is gonna catch them too, so that's good. They both kind of similar to a, a minnow looking color, so. Weird how that works. Caught two redfish. And I hit a bunch of trout in a row. Now I just had three redfish in a row. A couple more fish, I'm gonna have to call it a day. <laughs> I think I got a leak in my waders. Good thing the water's not cold. But my right foot is very wet. Wind picked up a little bit, not a much. It's not really bad. It kept the bugs away from me. <clears throat> but it was dead calm for a pretty good while this morning. Water is very dirty. Well, I first started fishing this morning, caught a blue fish, and the water was a lot cleaner over there where I was at, but there was just no fish there. I had one good top water hit, and I said it was a trout, but I, I caught a blue fish on the top water, and I had one cut my line. So that first one, they hit my top water, the Matrix mullet. Could have been a bluefish. I don't know. But nonetheless, didn't catch any trout at all. So I made a move and caught a pretty good bit of trout where I'm at now. And a few redfish. So it looks like we made the right move. Alright, just had a little thump. Let's see what we got. It ain't big, whatever it is. <laughs> Barely felt the thump. Oh, he just saw me. Look at this. Look at this. Believe that? I mean, this fish barely hit it. He was cruising in with it. He was cruising in with it. And I didn't even know it. I didn't think I had anything on there. Well, I knew I had something, but I just didn't think it was this. This is a nice fish. And I never knew it. That just goes to show. 
he must have hit it while it was coming right at me because that's a nice that's a nice fish and he must have been coming right at me too while i was reeling it in very nice fish that, that might be my biggest trout of the day right there guys got that down in Let's see if we can get it out of there come out of there there we go Let's get a release on that guy wow that's a fine fish there you go. All right, so as you saw, had a pretty good day of wade fishing. It worked out and made it back home. It got a little sporty on the way back home. I said at one time the wind picked up, but it hadn't gotten bad. Well, before I left, it got pretty bad. It was pretty sporty. So made it back home. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, guys. Till next time, Spots and Dots with Matrix Shad. We out.